Okay, so we're gonna go over the belt squat. So our belt squat, the belt actually just goes around your waist like so. You can do the chain however you'd like to. If you want to have it further down, further up, makes no difference. It's a little bit more based on comfort of how you're gonna have it. So I use one carabiner, you can use two, but I'm gonna go with one here and just lock it in. From there, stand up. As you stand up, the handles are gonna come off. You can hold here or you can hold on top, completely up to you. But I'm gonna hold here. From there, I'm gonna squat all the way down to where I feel comfortable, back up. Whatever your repetition count might be, get the full set in. When you're done, the nice thing is when you're at the top here, you can turn both handles in or you can only turn one completely up to you. Again, that's how you do it with the belt. You don't have to use the belt though. So you can take another attachment. You already got another carabiner already set up. You can use the same one, it makes no difference. I'll just go ahead and leave the belt on here. I'd recommend taking it off and actually, it's off awesome like that. So I can do the same exact motion, but instead I'm gonna use a different attachment. So I'm gonna lift up. From there, I'm gonna squat straight down. And again, completely up to you how you wanna use this. You can adjust the chain to how you want. The only thing is when you do use an attachment, it's a lot harder to put it back. So I recommend to send it down, take it apart there, take our weights off, and then we can actually pull the platform back up. That's how we're gonna use our belt squat.